Hello everybody, this is Mark McGurin. I've uh, had a request from Mr. Billy Land to do a little quick tutorial on flicking paint um, and making those dots and the little splatter paint. Um, if there's nothing fancy to it. I used to use a brush. Uh, I've now used index finger. And as you can see, I've been flicking paint because I still got paint on my index finger. So, uh, real quick, um, this won't be a super long one, but I'm going to flick some paint on this guy, uh, a P1Z touring car. Um, and so, really quick, one thing I do like to do is I like to prefer to use an opaque or, uh, you know, or something like that. And actually, I got the wrong paint. So, hold on. <laughs> much better so uh, what I didn't do is a, a transparent that's what I've got on there I was about to flick that but I'm actually just gonna flick this uh, guy uh, this is my super high-tech um, uh, you know super fancy paint booth so what's up Ben so this is my paint booth got my coffee so you can see um, also got some liquid mass that exploded <laughs> so gotta show that uh we all make mistakes repping my rc maker shirt what's up ben um so i'm just gonna do real quick on that i'm in my garage nothing fancy hopefully the fan's not too actually let me turn that off just in case that is some noise uh but real quick i uh, saw a td use something like this uh back in the day ordered from from amazon these little holder um uh, sometimes if I'm using the same paint, I'll actually just flick it, you know, dip my finger in my brush. But for these purposes, um, I'll do that. So, um, anyway, it's going to shake this up nice and good. Um, this is, I'm not going to put a lot uh, on there. But again, it doesn't really matter the, the, the amount of paint. But that's what I'm using. So, all I'm going to do, and I guess to make this as easy as possible, I will literally dip. Yeah, hold on. Yep, I'm going to do it like this to show what I can do. Um, I'm going to go in there and I dip my finger right, right there. And one thing you got to be, I will say this, you got to be careful. That first flick is going to be, uh, heavier than most. So I usually pull back a little bit, but real quick, literally all I'm going to do is flick. And as you can see that first drop way up there was my first drop because guess what? It's a little thicker. Okay. So I'm just going to flick. And I keep flicking because it's going to make smaller little guys. And, and I pull back, you see on that first one, I keep flicking. <laughs> I got to talk to Ryan and shirts are backwards. I know, right? Those damn Aussies are crazy. All right, and I keep flicking. There's no literally rhyme or reason to it. Um, this is how much you want on there. The more random, the better. I will say this, when you flick, I'm gonna pull this up, up, the paint's gonna go up that way. So if you want that streak, right, you can do that. Or what I like to do sometimes is just flick it around like that. All right, and I think I'm not doing a a lot i'm just doing a little bit for an effect i'm looking for little um, spots that need some love that's maybe i hadn't got hit yet all right and let's see how this side needs a little and you keep flicking and so again that's about i don't know if that in focus and this uh, Creatix I'm using is a little thicker, so it's not giving me the big streaks, uh, which is all right. But again, that is it. So again, I'll do one more for those that are joining. So I'm just going to flick that up a little bit. And...
right there. And I just spin my body around. And I just flicked off the kind of the big thing right there. I intentionally put that in the already painted point because I didn't want a big old glob where I was trying to flick it at. As you can see, I'm just kind of twisting my finger around um, a little bit. And as you see, you just keep flicking. So Billy, nothing crazy. But uh, I do know some people do brushes. I have found this is actually what I, it creates the most random. And I'm able to get those streaks, those long like tails like that guy. I am able to do that with a brush. It's harder to do without getting a big splatter uh, up front. And then this love needs some love over here. I think a little bit down here. That's good. Again, sometimes I'll do it for a heavier effect, sometimes a lighter effect. Um, and maybe a little bit. No, I think that's good. Again, nothing. Crazy fancy, perfect. Um, but yeah, that's it. And so one thing you'll will want to do, I'm wiping off a finger just with whatever, a paper towel, is before you paint your next go, spray this guy down. The reason being is some of those are gonna be wet, right? It's not like a super thin, you know, airbrush paint. You got it nice and thick. What will happen is, is that thing will, if you hit that air with too much air, it's going to go whoosh, like that little dot that you got. So the smaller ones, they'll dry super, super fast. No big deal. And again, all I'm trying to do is it's not getting raced anytime soon, right? Is get, keep it that. Um, paint from spreading out when I paint my orange next. So, all right, I tried to flick finger mask and it worked better than flicking a paintbrush. Uh, I would flick front to back so all goes that way. So yeah, it's whatever effect you want. So if you want like that streak effect, for sure, uh, Aaron, you just keep flicking that way. I've done that before. Uh, depends on, so it's hard to tell, but you kind of see it's it's just a different, I was looking more for a random effect on this guy. When I do my scheme, uh, a lot of times I will do more uh, to get those tails. So uh, good point. So again, that's the cool thing about this. It's super simple, super easy, uh, and go from there. So. Um, I'll actually, since I'm here and I got time, right, I'm going to paint my orange um, while we're here. So um, I don't have my orange up here, but what I like to do, I'm going to try to give some more, and actually I'm going to, you're going to walk with me to my paint so you don't lose me. Um, I got Raymond's on here, or was on here. I got my uh, toolbox of paint sorry for the folks that are looking up my nose right now um, but i'll show you this is my what i travel with <laughs> that's what i travel with um so i got my translucent paints is that all i need yep cool so um for those that want to watch i'm about to paint some orange for those that don't this is more about the flicking effect uh for those but uh, yeah, it just really just depends on what you want. So um, for me to get a tighter fade, what I found is I reached out to a good buddy uh, or I've become good buddies with them, uh, Jago Paints. Um, to me, it's probably one of the best uh, airbrush guys that I know of. Um, and so he doesn't post, doesn't post a lot, but he does do quite a bit. Um, you know around the country big eight skill guy does a ton of stuff um 
So uh, he does uh, Jacob Cruz's stuff. If you don't know who that is, just look up on Facebook, Jacob Cruz <laughs> and his Spider-Man theme. This kid's A, amazing driver, but B, uh, definitely Jago's paint uh, is the best. But anyways, I prefer for the tighter fades, the, the Iwata HPC Plus, right? And you can kind of tell from it that it's got this little guy right there. Yeah, the Spider-Man bro, Ben, is awesome. Now my beat up HPC workhorse that's got my Hulk smash screen on there that some of y'all saw that. Looks like that. That's how I can easily tell the difference because of the body. And the, the build inside it's gonna be a little different um, for sure. Um, but uh, real quick, one thing that I do have, I just got these quick connects. It makes my life 10 times easier. That way when I am switching, I also like the pistol grip. This is a small water trap. Um, I got a, my compressor is way over there. So it does a really good job there. When I am traveling with my smaller stuff, um, this definitely catches a lot of water. So my little travel um, compressor on there. So I'm gonna spray some orange real quick. And what I'm gonna try to do, I'm not gonna go for a full blast. Um, I've seen my buddy Ben No do some crazy stuff with uh, his oranges uh, and do some different depths from there. So I just get my eight ounce, you know, uh, fluorescent Creatix, nothing fancy, shake it up. Yeah, and Ben's saying the, the, the HBC Plus, what? The HBC Plus is, is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna be spraying. One thing that Jago taught me, and I've really liked it, you know, is I'm about to spray at 50 PSI. Um, I thought he was doing some voodoo magic uh, from that. So uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm just doing a little test here. Uh, and actually this is uh, thinner than most. So back that up. I actually, I'm gonna back it up. For my thicker paints, I'm gonna hit it about that. Uh, there we go. So I'm about 40 or so right now. Uh, again, I'm going to do my best to talk through this. I don't have anything overhead or anything fancy like bin stuff. But I'm going to go around the edge. And again, I'm going for some depth. So I'm not blasting this around. So what I'm doing is I'm going around all the edges. And I used to think you gotta go super duper thick to get these fluorescents bright, and you don't. So obviously the more you lay down, the brighter it's gonna be, but it doesn't have to be coated on like I used to do. So I'm just spraying. You can see nothing crazy. I know this is not the best angle. But if for those that are jumping on and have questions, feel free, I'll do my darndest to uh, answer anything that's on there. there we go. You can see I'm kind of doing some highlights there. I'll probably make some of it thicker, but I'm getting that um, PL, what's up, dude? Hey, recognize this scheme? So definitely hijacked. I'm going to post this up on RC Paint Chat. Um, you know, Paul Lisol. Is that how you say it? Lizen? I call it here in my country bumpkin, Texas, would say Lizen. But I bet it's more like Lison or Listen? Lison. I'm going to go PL Paints. So... Uh, I had a buddy locals wanting an orange uh, paint. It's I'm um, hoping to make you proud, Paul. Um, uh, that it's going to look good. So, uh, did you use the Creatix straight from the bottle? Yeah, I didn't thin this paint at all. The Creatix uh, is already, especially the fluorescents, I'll say, are already super thin. Uh, that's why I cranked down my. Uh, PSI because I could see it was going to spread out. So, ah, Tyson, Lyson, there we go. I like it. 
not advisable to re reduce fluorescence. Agreed, Ben. See, Ben is like, I'm calling like the Yoda of our group. You know, the guy knows, he like, he, he's very willing to share if you ask, but he's got like the coolest things in the world um, to show. Like one thing he taught me when you trace this, and Ben, this is amazing, as I use little, I use little magnets. Remember those little collar stays I got for my dress shirts? Um, yeah, I use those when I put my uh, little uh, trans, when I'm uh, doing my little uh, designs on there. And I'll be damned, that is, it made my life 10 times easier. Um, so I think he's holding out on that one on us. Cause that is a life changer. So my compressor is probably going to kick on here in a second if I was a betting man. All right. So I'm just going around the edges real quick. Nothing fancy. I'm not trying to get super tight. It's more for depth. Than anything I already went over with red on it so um, but yeah so if you don't know what I'm talking about you know with what I just said about the magnets instead of you having to hold your hand like on the reverse side of this um, what you do is you put it on there throw some magnets on it and I'll be down it just holds there you know it's perfect because when you hold your hand you move it it adjusts when you're using a little transfer papers again I'm pouring straight from the bottle. So, um, anyways, I'm just kind of going around here. All right, Ben, while you're on there, I'm going to go for some depth on this orange. So, what should I do, Ben? I already got some red in there. Okay. I think I'm just going to go. I've seen TD do it. I'll go a little fatter with the orange and make some of it not as thick around there but any advice on some depth from the orange you posted one a while back Ben that was amazing with lots of depth uh I'm seeing if you had any tips for this hey I am repping Australian shirt right now I did tell Ryan I'm 6'3 about 230 pretty big dude and, I, and Ryan's like yeah they're pretty close to American sizes Right, as you notice, I'm painting in this shirt. I'm not wearing it out because it fits me like a schmedium. So, um, yeah, us Americans sometimes are a little bit bigger than those Aussies. So, um, I had to get a double XL from them. Oh man, the worst for the blends. My shirt? <laughs> um, I might have missed that, but I'm not. All right, so what's happening here, I use so many colors and oh, that's right. You're like five different colors, which is fine. No problem. So what's happening here is my airbrush is getting, it's not coming out of stand. So I'm gonna grab my little needle, right? Pull that off. All right, so Ben, what size RC maker do you shirt do you wear? All right, so what I'm gonna do is tilt that off and I'm gonna put my finger in here. Yeah, so he said, uh, Ryan, uh, he's about the same size. We're talking about t-shirts while I'm painting. Uh, yeah, he said he would fit a small <laughs> in the RC maker. So yeah, he's uh, a little smaller than me, I think. So uh, yeah, see now it comes in a lot better. What happens is that paint just kind of got, um, dried up a little bit and changing it up. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. So, uh, he is a five foot, you're dang straight he's a jockey. So. Yeah, Ben likes to use like, 12 colors on to make a blue. 
And maybe that's why his stuff looks better than mine. But I'm not going to use 12 colors. So what I'm hoping here for is what I'm trying to do is I'm spraying around and I'm getting some overspray, which is exactly what I want. So, yeah, see, you've got that wet sponge too. So hold on real quick. Um, so I'm just trying to get some overspray on there. That's one thing he didn't share with us mortals for a while is that he uses a, a sponge, uh, a wet sponge. That's new too, so freaking Ben knowing his secrets. So, um, soft edges, yes. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna go for the second one. Paul Tyson, like I uh, hope Lyson, I just called you Tyson if you're still on. I hope I'll make you proud of this scheme. My local buddy wanted a orange. Oh, there's my compressor. So hopefully, I love mortals. We are equals, bro. I wish I could say I was equal with your paint. I think I'm good. You know, I don't know if you're Iron Man, whatever. We were up against in a superhuman fight who would win, but I'm pretty sure that would be you when it came to paint. coming around hopefully that's not too i lay a base coat of neon orange and then highlight transparent oh so you actually interesting paul because i did notice that so you actually put the neon orange first and then the red where i actually did the red first but if it's super thin which it is right that that makes sense it's going to mute that red too i'll be damned So I'm gonna hit this again. All right. That's very smart. So Raymond McCoy must have some internet connections. He's like watched like 12 times already. All right, Paul, since I'm copying your scheme, is that all you did was just use the red and then lighter colors at different places on orange? So, you are a humble man, Ben. You say we are great. I'm pretty good, I admit that. But I definitely love seeing some of these guys' works on here that really, um, you know, uh, push me to not just be okay with status quo. So Paul, one thing he said was it's less worry about ghost sparks. For those that don't know it, you will experience it at one point one day. Um, one thing I do do uh, on that, Paul, is I actually spray alcohol before I do that. So I just use, you guys still can hear me, just, um, how do you say that? Isopropyl alcohol is what I use. I spray that before that, um, and that usually takes care of my ghost fart. So. But, and I like that. And so Paul, Tyson, Lyson, uh, did you say anything else on that? Let's worry, Raymond. Again, Raymond's like, did you do anything else, Paul? On just the, just the red and the lighter coats of orange? It's true, that's true, that's awesome. If you search through RC Paint Shop, you'll probably see his stuff and or, um, all right, the, and you'll see his stuff or his name's PL Paint on Facebook. So I can't see more. The way Paul does it also softens the blending of color on color. It can lose the crisp edge of a dark color first too sometimes. Yeah, so one thing I, I have done with, I've done it with reds when I want to do like a black back on it uh, or a shadow is I will lay like a transparent red uh, on there and then do my shadows and then a different one. So very cool. So um, that is awesome. No, Paul, it makes my life 
a lot easier. Um, I don't have to do the bin no 12 colors. So, but going back to, I'm going getting scatterbrained on here. Um, is that I love RC Paint Chat because it pushes all of us. I get ideas. Um, everyone's always super helpful. Ask questions. I'm hijacking Paul scheme and he give me tips on how to make him proud. So I was going to give you props. I never want to steal someone's scheme without giving credit. I'll steal it. Uh, yep, the, using the detail color on the edge is a great as it is not opaque. Raymond, bro, you're having some problems. All right, so I'm getting Joe Sparks with the orange, which is fine. Um, I'm okay with that. So, you know, it's funny talking about my RC maker is I would have never thought that Ryan's a little guy. You know, he's really fit, you know, um, you know, and you never really see him standing next to anyone, or at least on social media. And I had no idea um, he was that much of a little guy. So I guess not all Aussies are little because you got freaking Ben No on here. That's like a giant. So granted, I'm about his size. So, um, so yeah, Paul said all good. All inspire others for sure, man. I always look, I don't know if y'all do this, but I see cool pictures. I'll save them to my phone. And I used to have like a little RC paint folder in my phone, but I've downloaded so many of y'all's photos. It's kind of annoying. I got so many. So I'll just go around here and you'll see you here in a second what I'm doing. Is this is what it's looking like. Hold on, does this help on this side? Yeah. So there you go. So one thing I did change up, Paul, granted it's probably because of the body, but I did change up your side just a touch. Whereas you had this orange going all the way back, I remember. I kind of stopped it in there. So definitely about 80% of yours. Um, one thing I did see TD do is you can see like that's more clear versus some of my spots here, right? So it's kind of that um, opaque, opaque, whatever, translucent. So I'm hitting this way far back to get me some orange on there, but not like it would if I crank it down. So, Tony, thank you, buddy. I'm actually able to do it when I'm in my hotel room. I, um, I'm always wearing my mask, so it doesn't really work out for me to do something like this. So, oh, there was some, that scared me. I had a little uh, old liquid mask on the top of it. I thought it was underneath where it was going to be all nice little spot. And he does want orange, so I'm laying it down pretty good, and I'll probably make my orange a little fatter, but that's kind of what it looks like now. So um, it does look clear there. There you go. So that's what I got there. Um, we're going to keep going. Um, I got handful of folks watching so right now at the beginning of this video um, this originally was just gonna be a little flicking video of showing how to do some flicks but I'm here I got time so thought maybe someone would want to watch and I got like three people on this point there's 14 um, so a couple other things one thing that I use for my little dots I get this on Amazon, 
So, oh yeah, no, found a, I bought a new airbrush today, so looking forward to it. Nice. There's these little guys uh, on that. Uh, oh, one thing I haven't posted up, which is pretty dope, is here in the US, I don't think you guys can get it, maybe you can. This for my liquid mask. I didn't, I upgraded to this guy for my liquid mask. Um, and so this is like the green, it's like 30 bucks versus like 15 or nine if it was on sale from Harbor Freight. Uh, but man, um, real reason they were out of the cheap one. <laughs> so, uh, and I didn't want to come back or order it online. So I have to pay for shipping. So I got um, that guy and I'm glad I did. So Paul just said he's getting a new airbrush and Paul is getting, yeah, I'm actually need a new HVC. Just my workhorse. I think used it like crazy. And I've actually had it for probably 10 years now that granted I took about nine years off, but it's the workhorse I've had. This guy's new really enjoyed the HPC plus for those tighter fades y'all it is nice so uh better than the HPC in my personal opinion I see a lot of guys on here that just have a Neo or HPC which is fine uh, but I've really enjoyed this guy so, um, so you got the HPCB, is that what I saw? HPB plus, um, I am unfamiliar with that. Is that the one that's got a bottle on it and not the cup? I'm not sure. You'll have to let us know how you like it, post up a review or something on it, Paul. Sorry, I'll scroll up. Yep, small cup. Oh, point two nozzle. Yeah. Uh, seriously, you lay your detail work with the Neo. See, uh, mortal. That's what I'm saying. Mortal. That really chaps my hindquarters. That Ben's detail work, his headlights are done with a freaking Neo. Alrighty, I'm getting close. Hold it up over here to kind of get a light. I think it's looking all righty. This is still a little wet. Since it's such a light, what I'm doing, uh, the Neo prefers the low PSI. Interesting. And that's what's funny is Jago uses 50 PSI. So, uh, for most of his detail work. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing I want to work on um, is my headlights for sure, but, you know, I don't know. That takes a lot of time. So, alrighty. This is looking fresh. You know, one thing I like is I was cutting this and one thing I thought was fun I'm like you know it's fun when you get like you're almost done you get the second to last step and you're like oh it's so close right you're like man I gotta do this orange and I gotta do my white and these bad boys will be done so um, yeah headlights are murder um, all right, looks like I get a cut. So what I do here, I got a white wall. I'm holding this up. See, I got some spots on my body. I can see that will come out. 
lighter than the rest. And so one thing you got to watch for, for sure, and I'll be uh, new it and I always check it, is these guys, these ridges on these touring car bodies, right? Because when you spray, right, you're hitting this way and you're not coming down at an angle that way. So um, I always try to hold it up to light, uh, depending on what I'm doing. Opaque, not too worried about. Uh, but I got to make sure I hit this side. And it's usually these sides that I need a little love. And then, because I was going way back and forth, this little spot here is lighter. I was gonna post up the other day uh, our, um, that does anyone else make a game of how, like when you're doing a pinstripe, how much of the pinstripe can you keep intact without it breaking? I do. Crap, we spent so much darn time on here. I'm like, let's see if I can make, like, get the whole body, which never happens. So one thing I am doing is I'm hitting this back because of all the mold lines on here. What I'm doing is I'm shooting straight into it to help fill some of those gaps. It's actually with some white highlights on there, it wouldn't be too bad. So, all right. Again, he wants a brighter orange, so I'm, I'm not too worried about getting it too dark because I'm pretty thick. Oh yeah, that's gonna look dope. All right, that's good. That side's good. A little more over here. And, all right. That looks all right, actually. So yeah, watch those mold lines. Um, what shell is that, Paul? So we, uh, it is, where are you located at, by the way? This is the Exotech. P1Z, it's kind of a gold standard for USGT on black carpet. So the Zoo's blow is solid for lower traction. I use that and I get, I'm very successful with it. Uh, the P1Z is just a all around solid body. It's kind of like the BBX or the, the Twister. I think the Twister Special is probably one of the best overall touring car bodies right now. Uh, the Wolverine definitely is kind of my go-to, but um, so uh, yeah, you're in the UK. I thought you were not from around these parts. Um, yeah, so it's definitely Pagani. I saw one the other day and see it's getting so it was getting kind of clogged up again so So Ben, do you use your Neo for anything else or just for more uh, detail work? I'm afraid I would, I don't know, I'm afraid of just a cheaper brush. Afraid of wear out. All right. So it's not gonna have a biz ton of ton of depth, but just enough on there so i hate painting the wolverine uh the brutal so so the brutality brutal wherever you want to say that yes it is not popular it's got so much downforce but we got a national our owner of our track is a nationally main mod guy one uh, handful of not not a handful two or three national championships uh roar uh once and, and he's tried it out it's just got some super high downforce so uh, for stock, which is what I'm racing, 21.5, um, it's just 
pushes that card way too far down. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a um, for the four or five one back detail. Got it. So uh, I don't know if the brutality is going to be a. I've not seen Alex or Bruno use it. Right, and they're mod asphalt guys. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing great on black carpet. So, and white cotton, California fella. So, uh, watch them. So, I'm just doing some painting for those that are joining. Like, man, there's 16 people hanging on with me. Thanks for hanging on. So, um, when you paint super light, so Alex Farah, is he on here? He's another California boy. He's got like the hair like from another mother. So yeah, Raymond, I don't know what's going on. I think this is the 30th time since you're watching. Or you just waving at me saying, hey Mark, Raymond's watching. Not really. So I don't know how long I'm going. Yeah, Alex is a great kid. Funny looking. A really good kid. No, I like Alex a lot. He's been super helpful. First time I met Alex, crazy story, is I go visit Speed World Raceway. I flew in early. Long story short, I was working out that way with Ed in there. And I showed up. And like I literally came in and the second qualifier, third qualifier were the main, but my race was up. I had someone charge a battery for me. I go pull out my radio, right? Uh, and my battery's dead. I left my battery on, on my M12S, I think is what it was at the time. And uh, the Airtron San Juan. And I was out of a battery. And Alex was kind enough to literally, I'm like going out on the track and freaking battery is dead on my radio. So anyways, um, I think this is gonna be pretty good. So, alrighty, so now the fun part is the white. So what I'm gonna do here, just landed in Dallas, Mark, had to San Antonio one bit. Nice, Ronnie. Um, so what I'm gonna do here to clean my brush, I'm done with the orange, is I'm just going to I take this and I literally <laughs> get the big chunks of orange out. I grab a paper towel, that's not stuck to an airbrush. And I just do this guy. And I get most of it out. I got some water bottles right here in a trash can. And I backfill it. I put my finger on it. Right. Go from there. And then some of the little dried up parts. Oops, let's move, move that. So, as I'm getting all the dried part out, I've learned if that cup has got dried paint on it, your fingernail, right? Granted, that's why my fingernail looks like this, um, can get some of those chunks off. And then what I do is I ensure I pull back, I pull out my little needle wipe that bad boy off, backfill it some more, put the needle back in, and sure enough there's a little, little bit of orange in there. And I always want to make sure I, I'd rather over clean than under clean my brushes. Um, I want these bad boys to last a while. We spend so much money on them and I'm pretty rough on them. So let keep pressing it out. Alrighty, put that back on. And I personally, which I bet most people do too, is try to get off any extra paint on the deal. I wanna keep it nice and shiny as long as I can. I get a freaking difference. <laughs> Again, this is super duper old. Um, it's time for an upgrade, so. Um, I know, so Max says you're at home. How the hell am I at home? Great question. Um, we are not on lockdown, unlike my um, Aussie friends, but I worked last Thursday. Um, whether you're fully vaccinated or not, I'm not gonna get in a political deal, but I 
work literally side by side with a guy all day last Thursday. And he tested positive for COVID on Friday morning. So um, the office he worked at, pretty much everyone got sick, um, got COVID. Uh, and so I've been self-quarantining. I've got a wife that works. Uh, I, it's already costing me a lot of money to not be able to work. Um, and so I don't want my wife to not be able to work if she does have it. So uh, it's been a week since I've been exposed. I've been super tired um, again. I don't know if that's me, whatever, but um, it's been weird, I'll say that. So I think I'm getting retested tomorrow. I've been tested. I came out negative for COVID, but um, I've been feeling weird, which is uh, the guy that tested me said he got it and he's fully vaxxed. said it felt like allergies to him, the Delta variant. Um, so... Um, we'll see what happens. Again, I'm not getting into a debate. I'm just telling you why I am home. Is I want to make sure the people I go to, if I did have it, I didn't want to give it to anybody. So that is why I am home. So I've been stuck up in my office, sleeping in my office, staying away from everybody. Um, not a lot of fun. So, but... I got these toy cars. <laughs> so I am just peeling off my liquid mask. And when it's not super thick, what I found is, you know, um, when I my paint was way too thick, it didn't want to peel up, right? I don't have to wait a super long time for it to um, cure because I put it on way too thick. So if you're having problems with it peeling up when you peel your liquid mask, most likely it's too thick. I think that's all the white. Perfect. Yeah, y'all are about to see the finished product. Super excited about that. So one thing I do like to do is I like to pull back. So I'm, instead of me pulling forward towards a point, right, um, you know, and ranking it back, I am being a little more careful. Try to pick it up a little bit and Go from there. All right, it's getting nice and toasty in here. It's about 11, 15, 20, something here in this Texas. I'm gonna turn on my fan. Um, if this is too loud and you guys can't hear me, so I just turn on my fan. Um, if that's not too loud, I'm getting hot, I'm starting to sweat. Um, if I wasn't on camera, I'd be taking off my shirt right now because no one's around. So, uh, so Apostolis, you paint on your feet no way bro I, i'm old so my back hurts and so i just sit in a little folding chair nothing fancy um so yeah what ben said there about the light coats was correct so what happens is when you go too thick it actually literally sits up on the side of that edge of the liquid mask and that's what's actually going to pull it up um, are you, can y'all still hear me okay, Ben? So, I don't know if you can or not with this fan going, but it is hotter than a, it's gonna be like 97, 99 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. We're weird in America. We think our metric units, our units are the best. So, um, okay, cool, you can hear me. Whew, a little box fan, cooling me off. Love it. I thought I heard one of my dogs. They're supposed to be inside. So, okay, you still can hear it, cool. What's the temp right now? My watch is saying it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it'll be up to a high. So in my, I bet, yeah, that's outside. I bet my garage is, that'd be good something to have. About 85, 80, something like that. It's been fine, but I started a little bit ago. Um, I'm just getting all this off now. Edge. So, oh, uh, that's mild. Really? Really? Where are you guys at, Ben?
30, see, why the hell are you gonna say 32 degrees Celsius? You know, us dumb Americans don't know what that means, right? And if I was on my phone, I'd, I'd check it out to see what that is for Fahrenheit, but 32 degrees Celsius, don't you multiply that like by three, something like that, three point something? Um, perfect. So Ben's doing his little calculator right now for me. He's gonna tell me how much hotter it is in Australia than me. All righty. Let's see how my depth goes with two colors, Ben. It won't be as cool as yours, I know that. But I think it'll be pretty damn cool. Hotter bullshit. Sorry. Is it really about 115 degrees? <laughs> okay. You could what up me on that one. The seriously that is crazy so i am not using a, a mask uh it'll be kick ass yeah so uh all right here we go so i'm actually gonna pull back a little bit on my needle give me a little more paint uh is it really steve out 116 yeah that's like arizona heat that is nuts i'm not using a mask because I am in my garage. If I was in a closed off area, I would see, ooh. see some of them you get talking. You get, holy crap. So 30 degrees more. That is insane. That's like hotter than hell. <laughs> God, go. I will not complain about my 99. So forgot little spot here came off luckily it's all white so uh, man 104 here now 123 last week. where are you at apostolic am i saying that right apostolic yep there goes my compressor It's got a pretty big fade. Uh, I paint a body and never use a hairdryer. I'll be there. All right. Nine degrees four. Ah, oh, he's in Greece. It does not sound like an American name. <laughs> Apostolos, I love it. Athens, very cool. That's awesome, brother. So it's that hot in Greece too? Man. All right, Apostolos. Actually, my wife and I have been talking about going to Greece to visit. What's the best time of year, Apostolos, to visit Greece? And where would you recommend for us to visit? But it's a dry heat. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, I'm not going to show you. Let him go. I put it next to my little fan um, on there. Apostolos is not using a hair dryer. I do. Uh, yeah, UK. I don't think it's gonna have as much depth as Mr. Ben knows. But this thing's looking good. Yeah, what? Since we're all talking about weather, Paul, what's your what's your uh, weather in the UK right now? Side of Athens. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where we're gonna go. Uh, uh, yeah, Centenorian, we looked at that. Uh, you know, 
thought about that. The Mayo Conos. Again, dumb American. I do have an Australian shirt on, so that might help. So, I'm not going to go super dark on the white or super thick. I just had to do the whole body. That's why I sprayed a little longer than normal. It's beautiful, but over high. Over high, okay. Ionian Sea Islands are great, okay. Good to know. If I do come or think about that, I might hit you up. Ask for some advice. Every two years we try to take a vacation with the kiddo. Since I do travel a lot, I get a lot of points. And so, usually you can fly for free. I save up my points for a couple of years uh, for all my hotel chains and flights. And so pretty much take the family for a near free. So it was damn, damn food. These kids eat like, they should want to eat. So besides food, we're able to go on the cheap. So we've talked about Hawaii or, uh, which I've been to Hawaii, but beautiful out there, or Greece, I don't know. So. So. There we go. A couple years ago, we went to Europe, um, mainly Italy. I uh, actually went to, went, to, went to Paris and London and then down to Italy, went to Monaco um, where all those F1 boys hang out. So, um, again, baller travel on my points budget. So, We like to travel usually we like to do that instead of christmas presents or things like that we're like i want something big y'all want to go to somewhere big so all right we're getting close to the funnest part of painting that's the peeling off of the liquid mask or the, the protective film I've lost a couple, but ah, oh, damn it. Now, we all make mistakes. I'm talking, okay? I'm gonna show you what just happened. I went too fast like this with my airbrush. Clean paper towel. Luckily, it's white. You can kind of see those drips. I'm just gonna dab it and pick it up. Luckily, the main hit it and the wheel well, but all is good. Ah, oh, Fiji, yeah. As you can see, I get out talking to you guys. I can get all messed up. No harm, no foul. Dab it in. Dab it all up. All right. Yeah, imagine if that was candy. Yeah, I kind of did that on the last one I did. Just a little spot, but damn, it pissed me off. It would leak everywhere. You are correct. That sucker would like look like my hand on that picture. That's what it would look like. Look at that green and gold one I did. The last picture is sitting right here, and I held it up to light while I held my damn airbrush in my <laughs> so I do this, right, with my candy, and that freaking candy goes, I bet I, no, it's finally off. It's still on my fingernails, though, but, ooh, you guys have seen it. But. All right. Cool. So now, I usually clean my airbrush first. Um, but 
I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. This actually was an impromptu deal. And it turned out all right. So what my process is, because I want to see the full effect before I, uh, I do that, is actually peel off the windows and the wheel wells because when I peel that liquid, that protective film, it's like, oh damn. Got a little pull up on my edge. That's an easy fix though. You can kind of see where it got and got there. Uh, yeah, blood red, I bet that is crazy. Well, I think I need to let this dry some more. I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't. I just got to use a toothpick to fix it. I'm getting an edge here that I'll just have to use a toothpick to get out. So. It's just the top layer of white, and you'll see it when I pull off the protective film. I'm not too worried about it, as I can tell it's just the white. Snap. Dries the, what the hell is snap? Ben, this is the crap I'm talking about. What is snap? And the body apostolus is the Exotech P1Z uh, USGT body. Um, um, post up a link, Ben, on what the crap snap is. Hey, do y'all know, this actually peeled up really fast. Those damn twister bodies, the uh, extremes, that is the biggest pain in the butt protective film ever. Yeah, baby. This is like the best feeling when you peel that off. And there you go. Uh, Steve, now, since this is all electric, uh, on-road, I've thought about doing it, right? So, yeah, this is a, uh, the kind of the go-to body. Uh, actually, I'm going to do the other one. I'm just going to take that peel off because I want to compare. So I did a gray on this. I was saying cold air, the body after the hair dryer, it snap cools and helps harden the paint. Gotcha. I gotcha. Ah, cold air after it. Right. So pretty bad. Okay, so we got this one, and then the gray did silver on the other one. Thank you guys so much. Um, I won't peel off the paint on that guy. So. And I think I know which one I like better. All right. Let's get the silver. And one I couldn't decide on that. And there. I think both are pretty dope. Pray for me. Thank you, guys. Um... Yeah, Ben, I didn't need 12 colors. Boom, two, Ben, eat your Australian heart out. So one thing I have learned is, yeah, the darker for me too, Apostolos, uh, is, I don't know how I did this. This is so annoying. 
I think my finger hit this when I was peeling up the stuff. I, you know, I don't even know what I did, but I had a couple boo-boos on there. One thing I've learned is all the small details make a big difference. Like little fades, little fades, right? Nothing big. So, um, but I had a little depth. As you can see what I was talking about earlier, since I didn't do any cold air, right? It's got these little edges. That's just the white paint that peeled off. So, um, or didn't, it stuck to it. Uh, I'll take a toothpick and I'll, oh, that'll knock it right off. I'm not too worried. In my previous days, I'd have freaked out, but I know exactly what that is. Yeah, guys, this turned out pretty dope. This is the darker one. Lighter one's cool. Darker one's better for sure. So, uh, let's see how the orange has turned out. How close did I get? So this one's a little lighter. At least in the, yeah, it's a little lighter. The silver's a little lighter, but overall, that's the cool thing about it. Still super bright. So, yes, and then and actually the cool thing is, is you know, Ben says it gets covered in stickers. Uh, this is true. This guy doesn't run a lot of stickers, so. Uh, you cut them on a blade. Uh, I hate the on windows to see how it's a toothpick. I'll try it out. Uh, I found, since it's just, it's literally on the top of it, I can tell it's, um, so yeah, uh, pewter would look good on there as well. Ooh, that would look good. Like a, like a darker, not a gold, but a, a pewter would look really dope on that. That'd pop really well. So, guys, uh, for the folks that have hung on, this has actually been a lot of fun hanging with you guys. Uh, we got, oh. Don't you hate it when this happens? And I'm glad I didn't clean my paint. Anybody notice anything? Freaking, freaking, freaking. Gotta paint some orange now. <laughs> Crap happens. So, um, anyways, I think that's the only spot that I did. Luckily, I did not peel the window masks. So, um, that really stinks. Overall, I still gotta work on my fades, my black fades. Uh, they're a lot better than what they were. I got signs of greatness. Like right here. Then I got signs of not greatness elsewhere. Like here, too thick. All right, again, I'm nitpicking, but I am like right there, a little too thick. I'm getting better, but crap really ticks me off. So I boogered this up with my semi uh, scraped up. Anyways. Uh, I've been on here long enough. This really did turn out pretty dope. Uh, thanks for making my day, guys. It's been fun having every single one of you guys on here. Uh, finally able to do it. So, uh, yes, uh, I know. We are, we are greatest critics. I agree, Abastalis. So, um, I'm going to fix this. Friggin', friggin' fry. I'm more, what's more frustrating about this is I got to, like, all the airbrushes. I got I to do the red, do the orange. Well, I guess... It's two colors, bed. So it's not too bad. So Bronson, what's up, dude? Uh, you missed like my super long, unintentional flicking tutorial that turned into me painting my body. So uh, totally enjoyed this, guys. Genuinely, truly, um, you guys are awesome. I love, love, love this RC paint shot. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So um, you guys have an absolute fantastic day or night wherever you guys are at and holy crap you guys are in 115 degrees stay cool my friends all right guys have a good night or day